NFL Week 7 Anytime Touchdown Props. We'll give you our three favorite plays and wrap them up into a plus 800 pay dirt parlay. And we also have a plus 360 long shot play this week. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com and I have a great special offer to share with you guys towards the end of the video. But for now, if you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments section who do you have finding the end zone in week 7. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So unfortunately last week, uh, we only went 1 and 2. Our, uh, our long shot play didn't come through either. Tony Pollard got the job done. C.D. Lamb, Josh Jacobs, Brock Bowers all let us down. But we're still 10 and 8 on the year. 3 and 3 with our long shots. And we've cashed two pay dirt parlays. So we're going to be looking to bust out that broom again in week 7. Starting with J.K. Dobbins. Minus 120 from the Chargers. Playing on Monday Night Football this week. He scored in 3 of 5 games on the season. It's coming off a game where he ran for 96 yards on 25 carries. He had 73% of the team's snaps. He's had the lion's share of the carries throughout the season. He's at 81 of the Chargers' 153 running plays. Gus Edwards was next in line with those at 38. However, he's on the IR now, and we've seen uh, Vidal only had six touches Last week, he's got the great matchup this week, that Arizona run defense, allowing the second most yards to opposing backs, five rushing touchdowns, that's the ninth most in the NFL against running backs, and this Chargers defense is good, they allow the sixth fewest yards, they're a top 10 takeaway team, so they should give their offense a short field to work with in this game. Cardinals could be limited without Harrison Jr. potentially not being on the field. And I just love Dobbins with this heavy workload. He gets anywhere near the end zone. He's going to get the job done in checkbox number one. It'll be our last one, hopefully on Monday Night Football. We're sitting there watching, ready to cash that pay dirt parlay. Uh, number two on the list is a plus 150. We're looking at Chase Brown from Cincinnati. Now this is plus 150 on FanDuel. He's only plus 120 on DK, so take advantage of that. He scored in two of his last three games, and he's just outproduced uh, Zach Moss throughout the season, and as well as over the last three weeks. Um, in the last three weeks, he's cashed on two of his four red zone carries. Moss, he's gotten stuffed on all four of his. And if you look at uh, yards per carry on the season, Moss, 3.6, round 5.5. So he's just the better back at this point on the team. Uh, Moss also fumbled on the first drive last week. And um, he, he never saw a carry again. On first drive of the third quarter, I'm sorry to say. He never saw another carry in that game. And uh, after that, our buddy Brown had 91% of the snaps. Cleveland along the fifth, fifth most running back rushing touchdowns. Below average against the run. Allowing 137 plus yards per game. The Cincinnati team, they still are an elite offense. They're favored by five and a half points in this game. And this Browns offense cannot do anything. We know that we could see Watson take a couple of sacks for sure. Give us a short field to work with in this one as well. So number two on the list, Chase Brown, plus 150. Take advantage of that FanDuel price. Number three, we're going to go back to a guy... That got the job done for us in week one. He has scored his first touchdown since week one last week. Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills quarterback, obviously. He had a rare stretch. After week one, he had four games without a touchdown. We know this guy tied Jalen Hurts last season for the all-time quarterback rushing touchdown record. Uh, and he's close to averaging six runs per game. He's still pretty active in the running game. And I like this matchup here. The Titans have allowed two of the last three quarterbacks to score against them. And that's been uh, Hi uh, Tyler Huntley and Malik Willis. The only other like running quarterback that they really faced was Caleb Williams. They had, they'd stopped him. And they're really good in coverage. So I'm expecting the Titans to, you know, if, they, if, if, if Allen's looking for a receiver, he can't find anyone. We could see some additional scrambles here. So I really like Allen 
to find the end zone number three. You wrap all three of them up. Dobbins, Brown, and Allen. It adds up to plus 800 over at FanDuel. You don't get quite as good of a price over at DK. Um, before we go over the long shot play, which I really like a lot, I wanted to let you guys know. Great, amazing deal over at Sports Memo. Get the rest of October all access for only $99. That's all sports. It includes 5% plays. We are in action with a 4% college football best bet on Saturday. We've cashed our last three, four of our last five, and we're 16-8 and eight all time with those. We do have a 5% NFL max bet locked and loaded, and uh, we're number one for NFL props on this season. I've been doing some NBA work to start off the season. It kicks off on Tuesday night. Tips off, I should say. And I have a great special for that as well. You can get the entire NBA season for $499. It's $246 off the normal price. And we were number one last year in the NBA postseason. We finished the postseason up 34 units, plus 18 units on player props. So I would encourage you guys to go check that out. As always, there is a link to my action in the pinned comment. I'm going to a Patriots player. We haven't done it all year, but it's Demario Douglas time. Sitting at plus 360 over at FanDuel. Got his first touchdown last week against Houston. A tough Houston defense. He's had nine targets now in two straight games. Three of his last four games, he had a 30% target share. Last week with Drake May under center. May threw for three touchdowns in that game. Jacksonville allowing the fourth most wide receiver touchdowns with eight and the most wide receiver uh, yards in the entire NFL. Jacksonville also plays man coverage, the third highest rate in the NFL. Douglas is really a guy that can cause separation, so he should be able to take advantage of that. And we just watched Caleb Williams torch this Jaguars team. So I'm looking at Douglas getting the job done. He seems to have a good rapport with Drake May. So he'll be our long shot at plus 360. Our highest long shot play, I think, since back when we had uh, Mahomes at one point. He didn't get the job done, but uh, he was like plus 400. We cashed on Strange at plus 310. I think that was another pretty high one that we did cash on. Uh, so we're going to be looking for Demario, Demario Douglas to get the job done as the long shot. Our three official plays, though, that will count towards the record officially, J.K. Dobbins, Chase Brown, Josh Allen, wrap them all up, plus 800 pay dirt parlay. There's always a link in the pinned comment to my action. I always have free plays over at X, at Steve's Book 22. If you guys could give me a follow, I would appreciate that. And I always have free plays at sportsmemo.com as well. Good luck this week, guys. Let's bust out those brooms next week, and uh, I'll see you then. Good luck.